All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a free mod that you can do. It's a very slight performance mod and weight reduction if you want to include that. But it is taking out your intake resonator on other cars. You may be able to do this as well. On the Hondas, it's located behind the front bumper on the passenger side. The reason why automakers put the resonator on the intake is to help quiet down the intake noise. But by doing that, you slow down the throttle response. So by taking it off, we're going to help the throttle response. For this demonstration, I'm going to be taking off the grill and front bumper, but also I do want to go ahead and just clean behind there. But if you want to do it, just take out the intake resonator. You can just do it by taking out the fender liner and getting it through there, but it is a bit more compact situation. So let's go ahead and get started on taking off the grill and front bumper. All right, so here is the intake resonator box and it is held on by three 10 mil bolts there's one right there there's one you gotta take off a clip here and a bolt right there and then another bolt on the inside you guys can see right there so i'm gonna get started on taking those off and the box should just easily drop out So I was able to take out the resonator, but I did have to drop the uh, lower splash guard. So I got the fender liner loose, but the splash guard, I had to take off a 10 mil bolt and two clips, one over here and then one over on the uh, inside. See, I had to take out this bolt here, holding on the lower splash guard. There was a uh, clip, more like a plastic screw here. I had to take that out and then another plastic screw that is on the inside here which helped lower the splash guard and fully get the resonator out so like I said you do not have to take off the bumper you could already imagine taking off the bolt here taking it off on the lower side and then in the engine bay lowering the splash guard just drops right out so now that I have that out, I'm just going to wash everything on up behind the bumper and clean up the bumper itself also. And then I'll turn on the camera. Alright, so the Civic is now clean. It looks a whole lot better. Just getting rid of that dirt, rocks, and anything that hides behind that bumper. Cleaned up the bumper, the front, and the back side. And so now I'm just going to be putting on the screws and the clips that was holding on the tray for underneath and then we'll throw on the bumper and should be finished up. Alright, so all the bolts are on, all the screws, all the clips, everything is on there, and we are finished up. It looks a lot better, especially since I still have never washed this car or cleaned it up on the exterior. But, looks better. Tiny bit more room that you can see in the engine bay there underneath the intake. Alright guys, I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys just in case you might have not deleted your resonator. Some people might be just beginning into cars 
it's one of the things that you might want to do that's free you know you don't have to spend a lot of money into mods and stuff like that really a lot of times the thing that's going to make your car a bit peppier a bit more responsive is just doing maintenance man maintenance is key then mods after you do the maintenance you're really going to feel what your car is capable of without anything added onto it so definitely you guys want to go ahead and do your maintenance I know everyone might have not have deleted the resonator or might have an aftermarket intake but still have the resonator and it's just because a lot of people just don't take their bumpers off you know and they don't know what's behind there so hopefully this video helped you guys and I'm not sure if you guys could hear the difference in the engine but you can really hear the difference whenever you're next driving to a median or next to a wall you just hear that additional suction coming from the engine if you pay attention and as well it gives you a better throttle response which you can feel it's not a huge difference but definitely it's like you know you're driving it's like man this car feels a little bit different it feels a little bit more peppier it just comes from taking out that resonator but let me know if you guys have any questions down below drop a comment subscribe to the channel because i'm gonna catch you on the next one player